Hey guys, it's me Active Exploit back again with another video and I uh, hope you all are doing great. In today's video, we are going to talk about, not talk about, but uh, we are going to do a curb roasting attack practically as I mentioned in the previous one. So if you don't know what it is, please do check the previous video on curb roasting and you should get it. Uh, also, I'm going to make today's video a bit quick. So yeah, uh, if you have any doubts regarding this, please make sure to ask them in the comment section. Uh, so with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, the tool which we are going to use in order to curb roast is known as get user SPNs and uh, it is a part of the curb roast, uh, uh, whoops, uh, in package scripts, sorry. And the in package scripts can be cloned from GitHub or you can just install it from the, uh, or by the apt install command, right? And if you don't know in packet, in packet is a collection of Python classes for working with uh, network protocols uh, and it has a lot, a lot of useful scripts. Uh, Make sure to check them. Make sure to you know check them out because they can be useful in a lot of scenarios, right? So in order to install it, you can just run the uh, apt install impacket scripts command, and it should in, uh, install all the impacket scripts for you, right? So uh, I don't have to install it because I already have installed installed it, of course. And uh, now let us actually fire up the tool. So all you have to do is type impacket get user spns and if you press tab it should auto complete for you and we are just going to type dash dash help so dash dash help is of course going to um, you know display the help menu for us so now let me actually explain the command syntax right so uh, how can we do a curb roasting attack so first of all uh, we have to specify the dash request argument so the dash request argument is basically going to request a ticket granting service uh, for users and I'll put them in a JTR or hashcat format, right? So we are just going to uh, specify that which is dash request and then uh, we basically specify the dash uh, DC IP which is the domain controller IP address So I'm just going to say dash DC dash IP and in my case the IP address is 10 10 10 100 and then finally um, You specify the domain name which is active.htb in my case and uh, the username uh, which is svc underscore tgs now so make sure that you specify the username which you want to kerberos right and now we can just uh, run the command so i'm just going to press enter and it is going to prompt you for the password so just paste the password and uh don't know what okay i guess i i, I pasted the wrong credentials sorry for that guys uh yep here it is and I can just paste the credentials and there we go so we basically get the Kerberos hash over here and as you can see we get the administrator hash so we can just copy this down and um, store that in a file so I can just uh, whoops echo um, or else let's just use the nano editor so I'm just gonna say nano krbtgt hash you just paste this over here and we can now attempt to crack this hash in order to gain the password right so i'm just going to say john dash that word list uh so the word list which i'm going to use is the default um rocky.txt word list right so i can just specify that and finally we specify the uh file the hash file and it should start cracking the hash right so let's uh, wait for some time it should crack the hash and there we go the hash has been finally cracked and we get the password so the password is ticket master 1968 and now in order to you know get um, access to the particular user which we just curb roasted which is the administrator user we can just directly use uh, ps exec right so what we can do is we can just say uh, ps exec dot pi uh, just put up the domain uh, domain name which is active.htb uh, and just uh, put up the username which is administrator in our case and the password which we found which is ticketmaster1968 and finally uh, we just specify the domain controller IP address right so let's just wait for some time and it should get us uh, a reverse shell right And there we go we found a writable share and it's up uh, it's basically uploading the reverse shell and there we go we finally get a reverse shell and if we 
uh, run the UMI command as you can see via NT authority system so we basically have the uh, we basically have administrator privileges and we just logged in as the administrator uh, administrator account right so as you just saw uh, this attack is of course really dangerous and it can be used to gain access over uh, user accounts uh, in active directory uh, so guys that's all for today's video uh, well i know that it was a short video and i apologize for that uh, so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys later in the next video have a nice day and goodbye